class this is array list m okay so define so uh, here you have a dynamic array structure is called as an array list so and this is the object for an array list you have to create like this and this is generic and that's why here you have to mention the type of the data at the time of object creation so i hope you know the little bit about the collections template from c++ right now rati here you can do like this add 10 object add 20 so it depends on the user right and if i want to go like this so here the for each loop will work so this is object so automatically it will iterate system dot out dot print ln into bracket and this is the element okay now look here so array list is the uh, inbuilt generic class available in java and this is available in util package so that's why you have to import it java dot util dot the the array list so this and here you have to create a object uh, you have to mention here uh, what type of data you want to store into the array because it is object type it's a generic type and you have to mention it okay otherwise there is a warning no error but there is a warning and then you can enter the elements now here i entered a two elements so it will print a two elements correct now just check the output and then i will again i want to show you a different number of elements array list demo dot java java array list look at number of elements are 10 and 20 now suppose here i want to add another element so what you will do object dot add now how many elements inside the array 10 20 30 three elements are you getting now suppose this statement i just cut from this and here i have added so it will print 10 20 30 if i keep as it is then what is the output 10 and 20 because the statements printing statements are above this statement correct yes or no but how many elements inside this here are 10 20 and 30 i am printing only two because instructions are previous than this so simply i will i will put here okay yes 10 20 30 now you will say sir you hard coded this value so what how to do it right what you will write for how many elements you want to insert then integer i equal to 0 i less than 
you de define the size i plus plus correct iterate the element integer element is equal to scanner dot next int right and then what you have to do here it's, it's element remove this save it okay so here again you have to define scanner here again you have to define the package for the scanner because it gives you otherwise it gives you error right and what is size you know correct do it so integer size equal to sc dot next int here give the message Okay, check the program again. So, I release size, suppose I declare 5, 4, I enter element 10, 20, 30, and 40. So, it will display 10, 20, 30, 40. If I change it, data, it will change your thing. After that, also here you can change. So, suppose here you iterate it, right? Here I can add another element, object dot add. You take another value from the user. Suppose I take a 60, right? That also added. So it is a dynamically it will grow and shrink. You can remove the element also from that error. So suppose I enter now 4, so enter 2, okay. 10 and 20 I will enter. Now look at 10, 20, 60. From where it gets a 60? Because I, after that I added a 60. So automatically it will allocate memory for the 60 element, right? So it's a dynamically grow. Hmm?